Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jason, this is Tech Rated. Today I'm gonna to show you how to overclock your AMD or Intel processor using the ASUS 5-Way Optimization software. Let's get into it. There's gonna be a couple reasons why you would wanna overclock. One, it would be because you want to get the most performance out of your processor. You wanna push it as far as you can go. You know, that's why you bought it. You bought the K series, you bought the X series. You wanna overclock it and push it as far as you can go. Two, you may be running behind in some of your games or load times are taking a little bit longer. You may have a little bit older processor. So you wanna overclock it and try to give yourself a little bit of an upgrade. The great thing about this software is whether you're new to computers, building your own or overclocking or whatever, this is gonna make it real easy. It's gonna be a one click type thing. It's gonna go in and tweak all of the settings and make it simple for you. You don't have to go in and do trial and error and adjust certain voltages and all of that stuff. You don't have to do any of the work. So when you overclock your CPU, you not only adjust the voltage of your CPU, but you also adjust the voltage of your memory so you're going to be increasing the heat inside of your computer which means you're going to need something better than just your stock cpu cooler you're going to need something like an aftermarket cooler or an all-in-one water cooler something like that to kind of help reduce the heat inside of your machine now to verify results i'm going to run cinebench before and after so you can kind of see the difference of the performance All right, so after this first run through without the overclock, we got a score of 4477, so a little bit of a drop. So now I'm gonna go in and show you how to overclock it, and then we're gonna run it again and see what kind of scores we get after that. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is go to ASUS Download Center and then search for your motherboard, get exactly your motherboard listed here. So you're gonna have select a product, drop down, hit motherboards, pick your version or your type of motherboard. So you'll have ROG, um, the Tough series, all of those. So keep in mind, this is with an ASUS motherboard. So if you do not have that, you will not be able to run this software. Now I've got mine chosen here. I'm gonna go over here to the right and click driver and utility. Now we're gonna again have to pick Windows 10 64 bit, and then we're gonna scroll down and then you're gonna see a section here that is named utilities and you're gonna click show all. So down in utilities, you're going to scroll down just a little bit and then you're gonna find the AI Suite 3 software. This is the software that you wanna download and install on your computer so that you can run it and then it will do the overclock for you. So go ahead, download this software and then come back and we'll finish up with the overclock. Once you get the software installed, this is what it's gonna look like. It is called the Dual Intelligent Processors 5 software. It's AI Suite 3. Now you're gonna have two options up here at the top. You're gonna to have AI overclocking and then you're gonna have five-way optimization. So as of right now, you can see my CPU speed is not increased at all. There's no overclock to it whatsoever. Now with the AI overclocking, it's simply gonna go in and do a smart overclock. It's just gonna adjust the frequency. And then after each reboot, it's gonna you know, do a stress test and all of that stuff. So it's only gonna focus on your CPU. If you do a five-way optimization, it's gonna go through and optimize the entire system for the overclock. So it's gonna go in and scan your fans. It's gonna see how they're, you know, where they're placed. Uh, what kind of RPMs they need to be set at, stuff like that. So it's best, if, if in my opinion, it's best to go ahead and do the five-way optimization so that you do the entire system. So once you hit start on the five-way optimization, it's gonna go ahead and reboot your system and it's gonna continue to stress test it until it fails. Once it fails, then it's gonna stop there and then that's where your overclock is gonna be. I'll try to scoot the camera up slightly here so you can kind of see. But what it's doing is it's showing that it's gonna go ahead and tune it and that it predicts that it should get up to about five, five gigahertz with a 38% increase. I don't really know what that means as far as, I don't think that's overall speed. I think that's the TPU insight. So as you can see here, it'll do this. It'll check the fans. It's gonna do the EPU guidance and then the Digi plus the power control. It's gonna do a lot of different things. So it's already working. It's doing a countdown here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get it started and hit continue. All right guys, so it ran through, stress tested, did it about twice, and now it is restarting. So I think it got to the point where it realized it was pushing it too far, and now it's stopping and shutting down the system. When it reboots, it will probably go in and start optimizing the fans. So as soon as it rebooted, it went ahead and started the Fan Expert 4. So what it's gonna do is optimize every fan so that it keeps the system as cool as possible.
So after the overclock, you definitely want to go into your BIOS and make sure that it enabled the XMP. Sometimes mine does and sometimes it doesn't. I'm not real sure why, but as you can see here, my XMP has been enabled. That allows your memory to run as fast as it can possibly run. All right, so now we're going to wrap it up by running Cinebench one more time and seeing if we get a better score than the 4477 that we got before the overclock. All right, so after the overclock, we got a score of 4553, but that's mostly because we have a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz. We overclock it to five gigahertz, which it already has a max turbo frequency of. You may see a much bigger jump just because you may be going from something that's like a 3.2 gigahertz base, 3.6 boost, up to like a 3.8 gigahertz overclock or 4. You know, 4 gigahertz overclock. So you may see a much better score after your overclock than I did. All right, guys, so that's it. It's pretty simple. So good luck. Go ahead and go try this out. See if it works. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a like. It really helps out. And I really appreciate you all hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video.